Hi everybody! Happy Tech Tip Tuesday! We are in an ES and uh, my name is Melissa. I'm a technology specialist. This my is name is Camille. Camille. I'm a social media specialist. And we're excited to join you today to talk a little bit about Apple CarPlay. So we've already talked about Apple CarPlay some and we've done a lot with texting and Siri. So if you're curious about that, make sure to check out our other videos. But I wanted to go over a command that looks like an app that's on your screen in CarPlay that a lot of people have questions about. So let's check it out. So first and foremost, we're gonna plug in using a certified cord, which means it's either an authentic Apple cord or it's a data cord, a cord that can do more than just charge. And then we're going to allow for CarPlay to work and you know just pay no attention to all the updates that need to happen on my phone. So I'm going to then turn my screen off. Then on the vehicle, I'm going to press menu and you'll notice that I can press CarPlay. So using my remote touch, I'm going to click on CarPlay. And this is the app that a lot of people have questions about. So depending on what kind of vehicle you're in, it's going to show the manufacturer here. We're in our Lexus, of course. So if I click where it says Lexus, it's going to launch me back to the onboard Lexus system. So we were on the map screen, it takes us back to the map screen. So if we are on, hey there, if we are on menu and we click back to Apple CarPlay, then we have access to all of our CarPlay apps. Again, any app that you install on your iPhone that is compatible with CarPlay will automatically go to CarPlay. So another thing that we get questions about, so we had the question about the Lexus app. We get questions about how to change the order of the apps on your screen on the car. You do it in your phone. So let's check that out. So we're going to settings. We go to general. We come to CarPlay and you're going to see the vehicle that you're in. So Lexus ES. These are all of the apps that I have on my phone that are compatible with CarPlay. So let's say I prefer to use Waze and I want Waze on the first page of apps because it'll be easier on the vehicle. I'm going to push and hold and then I will be able to just drag it wherever I want it. So let's say I want it right on the front screen and let's say I want to put Apple Maps next to that. Now I could also add Google Maps to my phone and then I could put all three right in a row. However you prefer, it's totally up to you. But take a look, Camille, show them the screen on the vehicle. So we haven't done anything other than me move it on my phone and then boom, there they are mirroring nice and simple. So again, if I click on the Lexus app, it takes me back into the native system on the car. If you have a vehicle where you're using CarPlay and it's non-navigation, you're gonna go back to that main menu. So it's just like pushing the main menu button down by your controller. So those are our quick little tech tips today for Apple CarPlay. If you have any other questions, let us know and we'll make sure to do a video for you. Thanks for watching. See you next Tuesday.